everyone, so the day is finally here. Bookshelf tour, yay! But first of all, I just want to say a couple things and then we'll get right to it. Today is exactly one year since I joined YouTube and I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed and watched and just participated in my channel. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I'm so happy to have made it this far. I never thought I would. I just am so excited. I hope to be in YouTube more in the years and flourish and do all that cool stuff. Thank you. Now on to the bookshelf tour part. Now first I will say a couple of things because I just got done filming it. Um, the lighting is pretty bad because it's raining outside and when it's whenever it's raining outside it casts a very yellowish, orangish, if you can't tell already, um, tone to the video. Also it might be a little bit shaky because my bookshelves are really tall, like like at least four inches taller than me. So I had to get on chairs and I had to do other things to get it and hopefully the angles are okay. I'm sorry if they are not because it was very hard to do and hopefully it's not too long and maybe in two parts, who knows. I'm not bragging about any of these books. I purchased pretty much all of them with my own money. So once again, sorry for the quality and I tried my ultimate best. And um, if you hate it, you know, don't want to leave any hate comments because I truly, truly tried. Hope you guys enjoy the bookshelf tour that you all have been asking for for like the past six months or so. Alright guys, I will catch you guys later and once again, thank you for one year on YouTube. Bye. Okay, so this is the overview of my bookcases, if you can see. I'm going to give you a general overview of each shelf and then go into detail what is on them. Let's begin, shall we? Right here I have a painting a client painted for me. I love it. It's painted on an old window pane. Some of my photography, if you can see. And there I am. Hi. Side of my bookcase, I have another painting one of my clients painted for me and I just recently acquired it and I am in love with it. It's so beautiful. This is the first shelf. Okay, so this is the right of the clock and um, there's usually, I don't have a book right here so it should be standing up straight. As you can see, I am a very height person. I like to be, everything be very organized. Now on this whole shelf I like to keep my mass produced paperbacks and other books. I don't have that many mass produced paperbacks so I'm going to show you what I got. This right here is the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. It was in one of my recent book hauls I believe. It's got a really cool cover. Fury by I don't know who by Elizabeth Miles. Ripple by Mandy Hubbard. Moonglass by Jesse Kirby. Speak by Lori Halls Anderson. The Dead Toss Ways by Carrie Ryan, which is in the second of the series of Forest Hand and Teeth. Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Emma by Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. Good lord, sorry. The Perks of Being Wallflower by Stephen Chabotsky. Haunted by Matt Cabot. One of the Buffy um, ones, The Book of Fours, it's by Nancy Holder. And then I have Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. Now on to the left of the clock. Try to be very still, sorry. This is very, very high up for me. I'm only five foot four and these shelves are like super high. For the Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is a special book to me because this is my father's and my dad started my love of books old and beat up. Um, he loves Lord of the Rings, knows everything about Lord of the Rings, so I just love it. I have Anne Rice's Interview with a Vampire, and then I have books one through four in the Sookie Stackhouse series. So I have, I think this is the first one, I'm not sure. Hmm. This might be the second one, I'm not sure, sorry. Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead as a Door Now, and Definitely Dead. I've only read Living Dead in Dallas and Club Dead. Julie and Julia by Julie Powell. As you can see, my Nicholas Sparks books are randomly everywhere because I'm a very height and organized person. So it really doesn't matter to me that they're all together. I just really like to be organized. I know it's weird and kind of unorganized, but it's the way I like it. I have Nicholas Sparks' The Wedding, good book. Nicholas Sparks' The Rescue, good book. A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, I've not read that yet. I Am Legend by Richard M Madison. <laughs> The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisenberg have books two and three in the Bride Quartet series, which I love. I've read the first one. And the second set of roses and Savor the Moment. So that was all of my first shelf. This is my second shelf. It's a 
Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I'm not going to pull out all these because I'm at a weird angle. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rosenberg. Someone Everybody Listens To by Suzanne Supley. D Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and Dave. Society by Allie Carter. One Night That Changes Everything by Lauren Barnholt. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Between Here and Forever by Elizabeth Scott. The List by Sibobi Sibobi Little and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Flirting in Italian by Lauren and I think it's Lauren Anderson. Yeah, Lauren Henderson. And My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. These two are very newly required, like last week or so. I just got them on Amazon. Right next to here, I have a random conch shell my friend brought me back from Hawaii, I believe. And then right next to that, I have my camera clutch my husband bought for me um, a couple Christmases ago. I love the oil painting um, that my husband's aunt, I believe, did. I have like this inkwell thing or whatever. I don't know. And then on this side, I have The Future of Us by J. Asher and Carolyn Mackler, Legend by Marie Lou, The Selection by Kiara Cass, Tempest by Julie Cross, Shatterby by Tara Mahaffey, Jessica Rolls the Dark Side by Beth Fantasky, and Generation Dead by Daniel Waters. And then I have this pocket watch that my husband got at an antique store. It's a Delirium and Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. Sorry, it was right there. The Wolves of Mercy Fall series right here. And I do, and I am missing the second one. I lent it to a friend and I guess it's gone forever missing. So I have Shiver, Imagine Here, Linger, and then I have Forever by Maggie Steve. Then I have the Unearthly series by Cynthia Hamm, which is Unearthly, beautiful cover. And then Hollowed, which I have not read Hollowed yet, but maybe I will soon. <laughs> Struck by Lo Bosworth, which I, Jennifer Bosworth, which I have not read yet, but I'm looking forward to. And The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, an amazing, amazing book. Sorry, it's cut off somewhat. Here I have a antique camera I bought, because I like having antique cameras, if you can see. It's just very, very old school. Here I have some more of my favorite series continued. I have the Hunger Games series, which is Hunger Games Catching Fire Mockingjay. I have this in paperback, sadly. I also have the Hunger Games Tribute Guide, which I just got at Walmart, and I also have this Walking J pen, which I got at Walmart as well. The Maze Runner series, which is the Maze Runner, Scorch Trial, and Death Gear. So paperback, paperback, hardback. Annoying, but what can you do? <laughs> Crescendo, part of the Hush Hush series. I do have the third one, which is called Silence, which a friend is letting it. I do not have Hush Hush, but I've read them all. The Wither series right here, which is Wither, and then Fever by Lawrence DiStefano. I've not read Fever yet, but... Maybe I will soon. I seem to be horrible with sequels. That was the third shelf. Alright, so this fourth shelf is primarily my TBR shelf. My TBR is scattered throughout this whole shelf. So I know a lot of people keep theirs organized by TBRs. I have too many of those, let's be honest. This is primarily, most of it, is TBR. Blood Red Road by Maury Young. The Disenchantment, The Haunted by Jessica Verde, which is part of a series. I believe this is the second one. The first one's called The Hollow. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I've heard amazing things about this. And then I have the Shade trilogy, which is Shade, Shift, and Shine. This is a good series. I've only read Shade, but I like it so far. Nocturne by Kristen Johnson. Babe in Boyland by Jody Gemron. Entwined by Heather Dixon, one of my all-time favorite covers. And Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. I just recently got this too because I've heard so many good things about it, but I have not read it. <laughs> a lot of books I have not read. So I have Reckless by Cornelia Funk. Time Runners by Alex Scarrow. The Pretty, the Pretty by Christina Steffart. Angel Burn by Ellie Weatherly. Love the cover of this one too. Illuminated by Erica Olaf. The Demon Trapper's Daughter by Jana Oliver. Everlost by Neil Schusterman. Here I have the Strange Angel series, which I have, uh, I think there's five in this series. First one, Strange Angels. <laughs> then I do not have the second one, but this is the third one, Jealousy. Then this is the fourth one, Defiance. And I believe this is the fifth one, Reckoning. This is a guitar pick my husband's bandmate got back, got him from London. It's got like telephone booths, if you can see. There we go. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawking. Five Flavors of Dumb by Anthony John. Looking for Alaska. Paper Towns by John Green. I am number four by Pitticus Lore. Firefly by um, Sophie Jordan, I believe. Yeah. Kiss Me Deadly, which is a um, it's an advanced reader copy. I won this for a giveaway. It's 13 Tales of Paranormal. It has all these authors down below. Last, I have Sea Change by Amy Freeman. Bump by Megan McCafferty. And Forgive My Fins, Tara Lee Childs. All right, this is the overview of the fifth shelf.
so this is truly my favorite series shelf like this only books of my favorite series can go on this shelf so of course I have the Divergent series which Divergent and Insurgent which is the second one which you guys know how much I adore this then I have the Mortal Instrument series which is City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls and I know a lot of people put the Clockwork Angel series or the Infernal Devices series in front of their Mortal Instrument series but in order for it to look decent and in height, because I'm very insane about height, it had to go behind hand, even though I know it's like a prequel. Clockwork Angel, this is all by Cassandra Clare, sorry. And then Clockwork Prince, which I have not read yet, but I need to. You can see my bookshelf is a lot of trinkets and stuff because it is in my living room, so I don't want this to be full of books. I want it to be a nice, cohesive looking bookshelf with odds and ends of stuff me and my husband enjoy, and we really love vintage style, so. This is just the old picture frame, it's just, this is the original, I just really like how it looks. Keep my books I'm reading this month, or just, I'm reading right now. In between this book right now, I just finished Laguna Cove and I'm on Cruel Summer, but guys, this is not a very good book. First and last, oh my gosh, this is by Tara Ellen McVoy, and then I also have Invincible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz. This is my Harry Potter collection. <laughs> if you guys have seen my first bookshelf tour. These books are in awful condition. They're in the same state. I mean, holy crap, look at this one right here. I'm going to get new ones eventually. Maybe I'll get some for my birthday, but I will never let these go because the reason why they're in such crappy condition is because my old dog got a hold of them and because I've just read them so many times that everything's falling apart. Anyway, so we have Sorcerer's Stone, Pri Chamber of Secrets, Prison of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. And then I have this little thing which is from the Library of Hogwarts and it has Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I'm trying to find much more cooler um, Harry Potter like stuff to put up here. I don't want to put any action figures. I just want to find cooler stuff so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know. So right in this little section right here that divides this thing I like to keep all my primarily all my adult books. I have the whole Chronicles of Narnia, Narnia series by C.S. Lewis and I know this is not a adult book, but it is so big, I don't know where to put it. Like, it's huge. I have Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, which I've read and liked. Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lines. And this is a young adult book, but Jodie Picoult's primarily a adult author, so I just have her. Melissa Banks' The Wonder Spot and The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing, which I've read The Wonder Spot and liked. I have not read this one yet. Then I have Believe It Be It by Ali Vincent. She The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. And this random book, This Book Will Change Your Life. It has a whole bunch of random stuff for you to do. Book four in the Bride Quartet series. I know book two and three are all the way up top, but the height doesn't work out. This is Happily Ever After. Then I have The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebel. And the, the rest of these are all Jodie Picoult novels. So I have Picture Perfect, The Tenth Circle, My Sister's Keeper, and The Pack. And I love Jodie Picoult. In this box right here, I keep all of my swag slash um, bookmarks. Sarah Dessen necklace I got this is actually Sarah Dyson by Harry Potter Dumbledore book one that's from Kate's book club it just says thank you you know cool I have a vampire's kiss um give up the ghost by Megan Crew book one I have a Harry Potter card for some reason I just have random stuff that little kids have drawn me and my husband's rooting me just stuff like that right beside it I have all of my library books I'm currently borrowing so I have beautiful creatures born at midnight with a bookmark in it I think yeah um, Bewitching Alex Flynn, Lion Game by Sarah Shepard, and We Bought a Zoo by Je Benjamin Me. I'm sorry, it's going to be a very, very awkward angle because this is a very hard bookshelf to do. This year I have the Pretty Little Liars series. I have Pretty Little Liars, Flawless, Perfect, Unbelievable, and Wicked, all by Sarah Shepard. And I have read the sixth book in it, but I don't own it. So this is for the Traveling Pants series, uh, Leviathan and Behemoth by Scott Westerfield. I will show you the covers of these because they're so very cool. I have not read these yet. And then I have... Michael Vay, The Prisoner of, 20, of Cell 25 by Richard Paul Evans. And then I have The Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller. This does have a sequel to it, and I do have it, but my friend is lending it. I'm sure it will be a very weird angle because it is very close to the ground, if you can see. So this is the overview. Entertainment weeklies I like to keep that are my favorite, like such as... Harry Potter and Hunger Games and all that stuff. Royally Crushed by Nikki Burnham. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Laura Miracle. Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Nevermore by Kelly Cree. Inside and Inside Inside Out and Outside In by Marie V. Snyder. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. And the second books right here are books I'm borrowing from a friend. I have Struck by Rhonda Stapleton, Iona, which is the second book in the series. Goodman. 
He's So Not Worth It by Karen Scott 